So really excited for today's unboxing. This is something I've been waiting well over a year for. As soon as it was announced, I put in a pre-order and it just arrived today. Got the studio set up and got down here to unbox it. So no more talking, let's just get it open. Yeah, so here it is. This is the one-to-one -one scale replica of the child made by Hot Toys. So well over a year ago now, after The Mandalorian had taken off as a huge smash hit, Sideshow announced their replica of the child made in partnership with Legacy FX, which is the same prop house that makes the actual puppets for the show. So that was really exciting. There were a couple things about the Sideshow replica I wasn't too keen about, and I had a feeling Hot Toys was eventually gonna come out with their own replica. So I wasn't disappointed when a few months after the Sideshow announcement, Hot Toys followed up by announcing their replica was coming out. Put in a pre-order right away, about a year later. Uh, just looking at the box, the box art is beautiful. It's got a beautiful picture of him. Yeah, I'm just really anxious to get it open. So let's check it out. Um, as you can see, it's got this box cover, which is nicely done. And then the inner box itself, I think is a really nice kind of design feature is that it's mocked up to look like the hover pram that the child rides in throughout season one and season two. So really nice touch there. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, what can you say? I mean, just look at it. Really, wow. You can tell I'm all smiles. This is a beautifully done piece. I've been really waiting for this guy for a long time, so excited to finally get him. He's got little wispy hair on top of his forehead. The eye details are absolutely beautiful. This one actually does come with a pretty cool feature, which is he's got an articulating jaw, so you can get kind of different facial expressions out of him, which I think was a really nice additional touch that Hot Toys actually added after their initial announcement, so pretty cool. So yeah, here he is, the child, Baby Yoda, Grogu, whatever you like to call him by Hot Toys. Super happy with them just taking them right out of the box. I mean, really cool. So let's talk about what else you get with the replica. It comes with two sets of interchangeable ears. So the set he comes with, you can see are a little bit more perked up. The ears are held in place via magnet, so you can just take them out pretty easily. And then you can swap them out for the alternative set, which you can see these are a little bit more down into the back. So pretty cool. Between the interchangeable ears and the articulating jaw, I think one advantage to the Hot Toys replica is you get a little bit more facial expressions than you can get out of the Sideshow replica. I know there was a lot of concern over the ear seam. Having the interchangeable ears and the ear seam it would create on the head and uh, just looking at it from the side, yeah, you can see the seam, but to me they kind of blended it in with the wrinkles on the side of his head. And I think even, you know, with a head on shot, like how you guys are seeing them right now, I don't know that you can really see them all that well. So I actually like the interchangeability of the ears really adds kind of a nice additional feature to them. So the child also features a replica of the Razor Crest shifting knob, which is Grogu's favorite toy. Nice little feature here is that there's a magnet in here and then a magnet in Grogu's hand so he can actually hold on to the toy. So it actually comes with three pairs of interchangeable hands. Uh, the two hands that he comes with are kind of the gripping hands when he's holding onto stuff and then there's an open set of hands and then another more relaxed gripping set of hands. There's the base for him to stand on and then a nice little replica of the Mythosaur necklace that he wears. It was like a two piece casting piece of plastic with a, a necklace. Would have been nice if they included an actual metal replica, but it's not bad considering. So let's talk a little bit about the replica itself. He stands about 36 centimeters tall, which is supposed to be one to one scale. 
Now, if you pay careful attention to the first season of The Mandalorian, his relative size to the other characters does seem to fluctuate a little bit, but I think this is kind of where they settle toward the end of season one and then going into season two. Some key differences between this model and the Sideshow replica, which unfortunately I don't own. As I mentioned previously, Sideshow actually partnered with a Legacy FX who built the actual puppet for the show. That didn't bother me too much. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, when I unboxed the Hot Toys Mandalorian figure, which is up on my shelf back there, Hot Toys is generally known for their overall quality and they do really good sculpts. So I wasn't worried about them having direct access to the prop, although that would have been really cool. I think they were able to capture a great likeness of the character. In addition to that, uh, I mentioned the removable ears, also the removable hands, which the Sideshow model also doesn't have. And then lastly, the, the Hot Toys model is fully articulated, so you can move his hands around, you can have him sit down. Uh, the Sideshow model, unfortunately, is just kind of a static posing statue, although there are some really great modifications that have been done online that you can check out where people have modified the Sideshow to have kind of the same functionality. But with the Hot Toys, you get that right out of the box. And then another key difference is uh, the overall rope pattern. While it looks very similar to the Sideshow, there are a little bit differences particularly in how the robe is cut, and then also the color. Um, personally, I, I probably would have liked to see some more weathering on this robe, but I actually prefer it to be a little bit more clean because that way I can weather it to my liking. So one of the modifications I plan on doing in the future. So yeah, let's, uh, let's set him up for a little pose. I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, I absolutely love it. I think it's great. Like I said, I think Hot Toys did a great job capturing the character's likeness and incorporating an appropriate level of functionality into a replica that really gives collectors an ability to articulate the character, pose him in different ways, the interchangeable hands, the interchangeable ears, the articulating jaw, the posability of the figure itself, I think are all great features that really make this a fantastic collectible. I, I am super impressed and uh, really happy with it. There are a couple minor things I think I'm gonna tweak, uh, namely, like I said, probably add some weathering to the robe, maybe add some of this fine wispy hair to the, the tips of the ears, similar to what they did on the sideshow. But otherwise, I'm really happy with it. I think it's a beautifully done replica and uh, super excited to be able to add this little guy to my collection. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.